his third straight appearance, came in relief yesterday. A record of 8-5-4, and four, a 2 8 5 goals against average. The Wolfpack, the affiliate of the New York Rangers and the White Sweaters with navy and red trim on their jerseys. They take the opening face off and we're underway here at Giant Center in Chocolate Town, USA. It's the Bears and the Wolfpack, the top two teams in the Atlantic Division, slugging it out here tonight in Chocolate Town. And Janssen Fialbi looking to track it down, but Hartford back in their own zone with Hayek with the plank. Skating it free along the left wing side. Mr. Hit sidesteps it to Nieves, who plays it too far for Jeninger. All the way down the ice, and icing called 25 seconds in. Guys wearing the orange armbands and call the penalties tonight. Our referees, number 42, Corey Savret, and number nine, Anthony Tapper. Colin Gates, number three, and Bob Goodman, number 90. On the lines, the Bears moving left to right with an offensive zone faceoff on the far side to the right of goaltender Adam Huska. Nieves will jump too early on the face shot. They'll back everybody up and try it again. And Maia unable to grab the draw and taken back by the Wolfpack to the left side half point. Brian Pinola, three game point streak, scoring twice for the chocolate and white. And their loss at Charlotte on Wednesday gets the puck free the near side. But well, the Wolfpack will take it back. And Nieves taps and starts looking to clear it. Just pushed it back behind the goal. Well, Hartford Sayak will take it again and look to recoil. Stolen by Pinola, rolls a shot, shot on net and covered and held by the goaltender Huska, and he will hang on. Dave, I want to get your opinions on this. Brian Pinto goes from being kind of a role player in year one to a guy that's now the top six here in year two. Just how much maturing do you do as a player in getting this league down from year one to year two uh, when you're a guy that's not expected to be in the NHL right away like he was? Well, yeah, you're getting a lot more ice time and you get a lot more opportunities as well. You I mean, you get a chance to maybe move up on the power play or do some penalty killing which you may not get in your first year in the league. You, you, most coaches are, are want to keep their experienced players out in the power play and the penalty kill most of the time. Colby Williams out on the ice right now for the Bears playing forward once again. The defenseman is told me he had never played forward in his life until the other day, and he hit the post, looked pretty good. Icing call to the Bears on a line tonight with Riley Sutter, who is back in the lineup, and Shane Gersich moved back to the wing. Spencer Carberry saying three game, looking to shake up their bottom six. Williams stays in. He will probably play some defense tonight with seven defensemen, including him, Drass. Uh, right now on the right wing as Hartford will put out the line with Stephen Fogarty back in the lineup. Sent down from the New York Rangers. Had two goals against Hershey on December 1st. Off the face shot win. Fogarty back to the point. The Wolfpack attacking his shot knocked down in front of Copley. Never made it as Denny O'Regan was there. And Hershey will clear it with Gerstich. Getting the puck down the ice, and the Wolfpack lose it to Gersich, who tried to shoot it on goal. Overty dumped him, took him down. Is a good chance for Shane, putting the pressure on, using his blazing speed. Hartford back at center, they'll bring it over the blue line, but they are offside. 135 and in a neutral zone face job upcoming, and the fourth check is something Spencer Kyberry keyed in on. The Bears have had a big part of their success with that, and a good job by Gersich there on the venture in Loverty. Yeah, they've started off pretty good with the four check. They're, they're playing the body and then getting pucks back and getting opportunities around the net. Face off and neutral ice right in front of the penalty boxes. And here's one by Hartford. They'll take the draw and go D to D. And this one driven in behind the Bears net where Copley will look to slow it. Never made it to him. And the Wolfpack have Hershey looking to clear it. Now to center ice, Bobby Nardella. Gets the punt forward for Cody Clark back in the lineup. Did not play in the game on Wednesday. And Charlotte after skating in Tuesday's 4-1 loss. They get the plank to the point, held in by the Wolfpack momentarily, and Clark will steal it down the left wing side. He's got a step to the net. Clark will leave it a shot. They score! A drop pass and a rocket to Beck Malenstein. He roosts it over the glove. 2 0 2 in. It's 1 0 in Chocolate Town. Yeah, it was a good play inside the blue line. They were able to pick up the puck, and actually, I, I think one of the Hartford defensemen lost his footing there and it went down 2 1 and opened everything up for him. And Joey Keane just kind of missed out there. And I was thinking Cody Clark shoot that puck, take it to the net. He had more of a step than I think he thought, but he dropped it to Malenstein, who surprised everybody and just bombs away a shot over the glove of Huska. And the Bears have the 1 0 lead. Now the chocolate and white want to take advantage of a team that played in Utica last night and traveled, and they do with a quick start early in this one is Beck Malenstein scoring for the Bears. Goals in two consecutive home games for the sturdy winger. Both pack looking to come right back. They dropped to the blue line. A shot got deflected away by Liam O'Brien. That shattered the stick in half of the Hartford blue line of the puck bounces in on Copley. 
and he will glove and hold it. It's time for What Makes You Smile, brought to you by the Bears team dentist, Dr. Andy Gould. 1902 Bridge Street, Old Town, New Cumberland. This is Andrew D. Gould, DMD.com on the web. He's always willing to see new patients. Go to the dentist that I go to, my wife goes to, our team and all of our support staff go to. Give him a call today at 717-774-7700. Thank you, the Bears smile today. They score first, something they did not do in Charlotte. 21st time this season, they're 15-4-0-1 when they score the game's first goal. Old Pack will throw a shot from the far side corner to the net, sweeped out by Phoenix Copley. Played back to the right side where Loverty, the defenseman, creeping in behind the cage. It's Stephen Fogarty with the pass, born in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. The captain of this Hartford team had his pocket picked by Alexiev, and out to center here come the Bears with speed. Pinto down the right wing side to Phil Mai. Three helpers last game to Pinto. Across left side, Molson tips it on net. That puck at his feet, then one sit flat, and on goal and covered. And held by Huska, everything but the execution right there on a good play in transition. They just can't finish. There was a good three on two. They got the puck over to the right guy. Like you say, it, it just didn't seem to settle down for him to get a hard shot. So he just tried to flip it up over top of the goaltender and couldn't uh, get it over his shoulder. Huska now to make the save on Molson, who leads the Bears with 13 goals this season. Great pick up by the Capitals and Brian Helmer on an AHL deal in July. So the Bears with a 1 0 lead on the Penn State Health scoreboard. Gertson skating out of his own zone for the Wolf back. Knocks it in back behind the Bears' cage where Fairbari has it. And looks to clear it up along the left wing side to Clark, who picks up the primary help on that one. And it's knocked loose by Belaski to the right point. Keen shot wide of the glove of Phoenix Copley. A balanced dying to look to clear. This line is scoring for Hershey back to work right now on the defensive zone. As Patrick Newell takes it, tosses it back behind the Hershey goal. Clark will play it to Juice, the teddy bear toss hero. Up the boards to Malenstein, who looks to clear it. He will get it to center. 16-20 to go, first period, 1-0 Bears. They get the icebreaker here on the goal by Malenstein. Nice pass ahead to center for the Wolfpack. Dropping over the blue line, trying to get around Bergdorfer, and Copley will dive out and cover as the puck rolled off the tape of Grop, well defended by Bergdorfer, and Copley able to help his defenseman out and jump on top of that puck. Yeah, kind of a dangerous play there. He jumped up through the center of the defenseman and was uh, wide open and a nice long pass and had the opportunity. Face off to the left of Phoenix Copley. Shots are three to one in favor of the Bears. Early goings here. Welcome to those tuned in on Caps Radio 24-7 as well. What a wild game for Washington earlier today. Comeback win again. Another win for Ilya Samsonov, the former Bear, and another hat trick from the great eight. Alex Ovechkin fastly approaching 700 pro goals. Bears looking to clear it. It's center. Knocking it up the boards and a hit by Bird. Joyford. Puck does not come out. And Copley behind his own net will set the table when the Bears backhand it free the left wing. Out of the reach of Hayek and a battle of the 25s. Good hit by Williams. Disrupts the puck and Hartford has to take it back in their own zone. Bergdorfer steps up, another hit. He's rattling the bones so far, and the guy's in the white sweater. And it's Nardella just going to go for a skate out of his own end to the right wing. Try to make a pass. It got picked off to the dangerous Letary in the offensive zone. Leads to the middle. It's Nieves, left circle, waiting for help. Drops it back off. Here's a wrist shot. The stick saved by Copley. Gettinger let it go, and Copley turned it out. As the Bears look to clear it to center, Pilon can't get it out. Scoop back to Copley, who guides it to the corner. Bergdorfer hit, knocked away by Pilon. And the Bears will look to break the center. Williams gets the puck free to Gersich, who ladles it in. That was Nardella turning it over at center. It resulted in the Bears hemmed in their own zone for a bit, but they'll get the line change now. Hartford with five minutes gone for his period. Back behind their own cage. Pivon, Janssen, Fiabi, and O'Brien out on the ice for the Bears. And Axel, what a season he's having with 10 goals, ranking in the top five on the team, just trailing Molson, Scarbosa, and Brian Pinno. Here's Lewington out of his own end, gets the puck down to the blue line. Hartford will hold in behind the Hershey net there on the attack. And Lewington around the boards, it goes to the near shot. Looking to chop it loose, his P line over Egan. Holds in, winds in, fires a deflection wide of Copley. That coming from the tops of the circles, and he missed everything. To the left point, Hayek holding it in once more. Right off to the right side. It's Keen down low, tipped on net. Copley slides over to his right and makes the save there. Matali Kratzschaw with an opportunity and a nice stop by Phoenix. Copley sliding to his right to keep this a 1 0 affair. Yeah, the Bears hemmed in their own zone for a little bit there. You did, they just got to make sure when that happens that they're playing inside out. They're always to the inside of the ice. You're forcing Hartford to stay there outside and take shots, and that makes they don't have any rebounds. So a little bit more pressure, and then they'll be able to get the puck out. 
Shutter out there to take the face shot here for the Bears. Riley Shutter back in the lineup for her. She has not played a ton, did have a minor injury for a bit, but been on the outside looking in the last couple. His 11th game of the season would help her on the year for the Caps third rounder. Puck knocked to center and Shutter looking to get it to Williams. Could not. Played past Juice and down the ice and icing called. On the Wolfpack and an offensive zone face off coming up here for the Bears. Just underway at Giant Center. 1-0 Hershey. Capital Blue Cross is a proud sponsor of the Hershey Bears. Here for the fans for the game and all the moments that matter. With a name trusted for over 80 years and the card accepted by top doctors and specialists. Capital Blue Cross behind you or whatever lies ahead. Adam Huska gives up the goal to Stein. This is his third consecutive appearance as Wolfpack goaltenders have not made it through each of their last two games. It was McCollum that started yesterday and was yanked after surrendering three goals on 12 shots. Another icing coming up on Hartford. They won the faceoff and center of the length after Huska had been yanked two days prior against the same Utica Commons. Valenstein's goal, by the way, primary assist to Clark, only assist to Clark. Time of the goal, 2-0-2, 1-0 Hershey. They shot to the right of Huska, who decided he's a Slovakian to play his College hockey at UConn, knowing he was drafted to the seventh round by the Rangers. They play in the same rank for the most part as the Wolfpack do. The Axel Center in Hartford, the old home of the Hartford Wolfpack. Excuse me, the old home of the Hartford Rangers. Now the home of the Hartford Wolfpack. Hartford Whalers, what am I talking about? The Whalers. <laughs> Binghamton Rangers, the Whalers. Gordy Howe, for yeah. crying out loud, the greatest Get logo in all of hockey. It's been a long day, folks. Here's Pino knocking it in the offensive zone, back behind the net. They still have the Whalers banners up there, I should say. Knocked free along the near side, half boards. Hershey with it to Brian Pino. Maya knocked down awkwardly and is going off in pain. The Bears get the pike behind the net. Molson knocked to his skates and trying to get back up as it's rolled away. Maya takes his helmet off and slams it down as he heads to the bench. His fresh legs out there with Matt Weiss just called up. From South Carolina, the ECHL, where he had 24 points in 29 games. Bergdorfer with it in his own zone. A D to D pass to Nardella. Ahead to Weiss at center. With nearly seven minutes gone in the first period. Hartford back in their own end. And they knock it forward. This one off the skate of Letary. Taken in by Hayek. Trying to backhand it deep behind the goal. And instead it gets blocked by Malenstein. The goal score prides it free to Bergdorfer. And he knocks ahead to Weiss. So on the left wing, former Ohio State standout. Could not get the plank with it. He stole it from the Wolfpack. And they are offside. Wolfpack trailing the Bears, 1-0. Hershey with the lead on a Malenstein goal. We'll step aside back after this. And the Giants hitter and Hershey on the Bears Radio Network. The sweetest hockey team on earth. This is the Hershey Bears Radio Network. 12.40 to go here in period number one. 1-0 Bears is Cody Clark going to send in back behind the net of Hartford goaltender Adam Huska. Hershey looking to knock it free. The Wolfpack a very good claw. I'm going to give the Bears a very good chance here today at Giants. Center. Drop with it down the right wing, knocks it forward. Here's a chance for Domowski. A backhander turned out by Compley. A nice save on the Connecticut native Domowski. And it kicked down on a quick chance, shoveled towards the goal. And Compley dialed in with four saves so far. 1-0 Hershey on the Penn State Health scoreboard with Dave Fenbiz. I'm Zach Fish as the puck deflected back behind the net. Alexiev with it for Hershey, looking to skate out of his own zone. The rookie defender plays it up the middle to Pilon. But on the wrong side of center, and icing is called. Love when the Wolfpack come in, love going to Hartford, but love going to Hartford a little bit more now. It is my only opportunity to see the great Bob Crawford, Hawk as they call him, the broadcaster for the Hartford Wolfpack, a good colleague and friend, and such a shame, unfortunately, he is no longer going on road games. It's just a product of the industry these days, but Hawk is a great man. Looking forward to seeing him in Hartford, and I know Wolfpack fans love his calls. Had some legendary ones over the years. And you'll see him in Hartford a couple more times this year as the Bears still with a few more visits to the XL Center, the former home of the Hartford Whalers. There we go, I got it right that time. Pratt's job over the blue line, the offensive zone, drops back right side. Here's a chance for Keane, turned out and knocked away. Good defensive play by Garrett Pilon as it's chipped back behind the Bears' net. Fogarty with it, gets it behind the goal to Danny O'Regan. Takes a hit, trying to fight through it. O'Regan now in his third organization spins and throws it to the net front. Here's a chance, fired high and wide. What an opportunity. It was left there for Gertson, and he missed everything. Physical defenseman jumped to the play and sailed it off the glass. Pratt's off behind the goal. The Bears hemmed in their own zone. 
Keen jumping into play, centers a pass, tipped away by Hershey and off to the races is Piedlot. Huska coming, flying out to the tops of the circles and gets it out to center. An empty net ahead, but Jutes trying to fire it in, had his stick hooked at center. Otherwise, the net was completely empty. He wound up for a slap shot. It was blacked away. Bears just had to tag up and they had a givey, but it did not work. Yeah, he didn't realize the guy was right behind him and it took just a little bit too long. Goal saved by Hartford after Huska came darting out. There's to center ice. Pedal will leave it over the red line. Nardella backhand pass behind the cage. Maya right back out there and doesn't miss a shift. We're taking a hard hit to Molson. Left corner. Hershey looking to add to their 1 0 lead. They try to go back to the left point. Nardella will hold in. Floats his shot wide to the near side. Molson leads. Great pass to Pedal. He shoots. And up saved by Huska with his right pad. Turned out with a good challenge there. Sliding out into the white ice beyond the blue paint. And denied Brian Pedal from in tight. Bears regroup with Pino again. Knocked a little out of his reach. And Hartford will take it away and settle down with 10-10 to go in the first period. But Pino is flying once again tonight. Man, has he had a fantastic second season for the Bears and a name that Caps fans need to know for maybe a future bottom six player. All right, caught to the left point for the Wolfpack. Walking the blue line. Backhand pass to the middle. And it's chipped away by Alexiev. Sent to the far side half boards. Alexiev is a man and the blue line could not get it out. Held him by the Wolfpack, who shoot one tip wide accomplished. Centering pass, they score. A beautiful feed from Nieves. And on the left wing, sneaking in, the defenseman Yegor Rykov gets the goal. And the Wolfpack have tied the game at one as he was left wide open. Yeah, it all started when Alexiev had the puck. He turned, he tried to get it out, and uh, hit one of the Wolfpack players and came right back in. And uh, as I've said before, once. Once you start that transition, everybody thinks you got the puck and you're, you're heading up the ice, and then once you turn it over, you, there's usually a, a wide open player down low. Rykoff's first American Hockey League goal coming over from the KHL where he's played 157 games in Russia in his career. Acquired to the Michael Grabner trade with the New Jersey Devils. A defenseman jumps into the play and roosts it over Phoenix Conley who got there, but the shot just bested him. And the Wolfpack with sustained zone time Hits the goal and they'll get him the puck. And it's a 1-1 score on the Penn State Health scoreboard. That was a beautiful kind of blind pass from Booney Evans. Just to the middle hoping someone would be there. Eyes in the back of his head. Nieves, no surprise. That's his 20th assist of the season. Primary a playmaker. He does it there. So the Wolfpack have equalized. We'll step aside. 9.35 to go the first. We're tied at one on the Bears Radio Network. Well, we're tied at one here on the Bears Radio Network. Hartford has just tied the game. On a first American Hockey League goal from Rykoff. The Evans and Kevinger with the assist at 10 at Hartford gets the puck back behind their own end. The Bears go to work on the fourth check with Colby Williams out of the corner. Back to the center point, Juice. His wrist shot at his stick and got deflected wide. Hershey right back on the horse right now, trying to go to work offensively, but Fogarty. Will settle it down in his own zone. Cool the waters and Hartford out to center. On the right wing side, the offensive zone. Here's a chance for Fogarty tipped up and off the high glass. Wide of the net is Williams. Will collect it for the Bears and start it right back offensively. Over the blue line, labels it in behind the net where Gersich puts pressure on. But the Wolfpack come up with a plaque and stripped by Pilot. Great play out of the near side corner. Looks to center of the pass got blocked. Otherwise, Janssen Fialbi was cruising in the slot wide open. On the left side, Janssen Fialbi knocks down Hartford's second attempt to clear. They'll throw one all the way down the playing surface, and icing is called with 8.40 to go on the first. Well, you want to talk about a positive for the Bears so far, Dave. Their four check has certainly created some issues for Hartford's defenders. Yeah, I, I, I think it's really done a pretty good job of forechecking and, and getting opportunities. I mean, it seems like they've, they're taking turns hemming each other in the in the other team's zone. They've just... They've just got to make a little bit better uh, job, do a little bit better job in their own zone of uh, keeping track of the Hartford players. Off the draw, a shot from Bergdorfer got knocked down. Janssen Falby skated after the rebound, but knocked away from him. And back to neutral lines. It's Piedlon with it for the Bears. Trying to make a move, but lost it. And he'll have to chip it back now to Nardella. Cross ice speed is on the tape of Bergdorfer. Away, hits the center red and drives it in. Around the perimeter of the boards, all the way to the near side. O'Brien tried to come up with it. Well, the Wolfpack get there and float it back into the Bears' defensive zone where Bergdorfer will carry the mail. Behind the zone, Nat reversing for Alexia. Rookie backhand pass ahead. Janssen Fialbi tips it down the ice. O'Brien after it. Man breaking the net. O'Brien could not get it to him. Knocked off his tape. Good defensive play by Ranish. 
And he leaves for Grob right in front of his own net. Nearly turned it over. In fact, he does to Pilon. He gets knocked down, goes hard into the boards. Puck is underneath Pilon, and they're going to blow the play dead. Referee, I think, thought either Pilon was hurt or it was covered up underneath him long enough to blow the whistle. Unfortunately, it come free right to Cody Clark. He wanted to go to the net, but Faceoff going to go out to neutral ice with 7.49 to go in the first, tied at one. Yeah, he kind of went in the boards awkwardly there, so I think the, the referee just uh, wanted to, uh, you know, sign the side of caution there and uh, pull the whistle and start everything down. Luckily, he is just fine, but the Bears will put out my able sit in Pino, who have had some great chances. Brian Pino on that right wing. Once again here tonight, a versatile guy, center or wing. It's not loose along the left side where the Oak Pack will take it back behind the Bears' net. Making it up is Lewington. Empty little play to reverse it to Alexia. Left side board to Molson. Out to center. Pass on the tape of Pinnell. Down the right wing side. A man breaking the net. He gets it to Namaye. Fired it just wide. Oh, a great opportunity. Pinnell saw him coming and hit him, but it was just deflected past the goaltender and wide of the net. Back behind the goal, Maye with it again for Hershey. Up the left side, Hapboards. Luteri will take it away for Hartford, and they'll break the press in their own zone, then go the wrong way and turn it over to Maye down the right wing. Offensively now for the Bears at the bottom of the face shot circle. To the right point, Lewington. T to D, Alexia. Handcuffs in the vent, centers one towards the net, hit his own teammate, Molson. Goes back to the point with seven minutes to play in the first period. Pino has it. Needs it now the slot. Molson will knock it away to Pino again. Waits and holds. Right side. Lewington's in and shoots. And a glove saved by Huska. A good opportunity. Pino waited. There was no lane. And Lewington denied. Yeah, they've done a good job intercepting passes as well in the, in the, the Hartford zone. They had about three opportunities there where they were able to, you know, strip the puck away from the Hartford player and get some chances. Well, Brian Pino, 11 goals, 12 assists, 23 points this season after just having 12 points last year. Shouldn't come as a surprise he has an offensive game. He had 40 points his junior year at Providence College, 32 his senior year, and in the USHL, 28 goals, 20 assists, a 56 point score in 59 games for the Indiana Ice where he won a championship. Well, it's a sign of his game that he has continued to grow at the pro level. Colby Williams with a fourth line out for the Bears right now. They'll get it to Gersich. Back behind the goal. Looks to center. Great pass to Sutter. He couldn't pull the trigger. Looking for his first in the AHN. The juice left point. Centering pass to Williams in the slot of the back can. No lane available. Drops it back to Fair Bar. Snaps a wrist shot. Got blocked. Knocked down another attempt. And Sutter was denied on the chance from in tight. Knocked down behind the cage. As Riley Sutter with two good chances. Juice tries to hold it in. Prodded away from him by Newell. Skating down the left wing side. Well defended. Throws it past wide of everything. And the Bears with the back check. Center throws a good handle to the far side. And Hershey checks to center where Gersich waves his stick like a wand to the puck. And knocks it back into the Hartford zone with six minutes left in a 1-1 game on the Penn State Hill scoreboard here in the first period. Top two teams in the Atlantic, Joe to Joe, and the Giants center and chocolate tin. Clark at the red line, could not handle the pass. Weiss back in his own zone, will leave it for Juice. Just one point from 100 in his pro career. Left it from Allenstein, a turnover, they score on the deflection from Stephen Fogarty. Always seems to burn the Bears, a shot from the blue line, and bang, bang, the Bears toss it away in their own zone, and Fogarty camped right in front, deflects it past the right pad of Copley, 2-1 Hartford. Yeah, just carelessness in their own zone. They were kind of... Uh moving the puck around dangerously in front of the net and just threw it right out to the point and uh, he was wide open and, and no one was covered in front of the net so that leaves the player wide open in front of the net. I was talking to a member of the media here today and they asked me if Stegan Fogarty was sent back from the Rangers. I told them yes and they said great there's a guaranteed goal for Hartford. He always seems to play well against Hershey. He gets his 10th goal of the season and his third this year against the chocolate and white in this building. So Hartford now has the lead on the Penn State House scoreboard, and the Bears will go back to work with Cody Clark in the offensive zone. Shots are six apiece as Hartford looks to bring it out now to center. It's Keen, cross side speed to Damowski. Brown skating in down the left wing, tracked by Bobby Nardella, who pushes it behind his own end with a good defensive play, and the Bears will look to break out to center. 
Clark with it. Head man feed forward for Malenstein. He'll chip it in. And Hayek behind the goal. Belted by Malenstein. Gets the pike free. O'Regan gets the lone assist on the forwardy goal. Bears with a pike. Johnson Fialbi tried to force it past the point. Lloyd and then left it to the middle. And luckily, Alexiev is going to get back with Fogarty all over him and take it to safety behind the net. But it's turned over again. Crankshaw will steal it to the right side. Missing Fogarty. Clap to the middle to Crankshaw again. Steps a shot off the glove of Copley in front for O'Regan. Tried to tuck it in. At the back post, could not do so as Copley sprawled out, lost his stick in the process. They sent her to Fogarty. This line dominant right now for Hartford. Skating free for the press. Back at the left point with some room. Cuts to the middle, ladles it towards the goal, tipped on net by Hayek, and Copley will melt it down for a much needed whistle. The Wolfpack have the advantage. Stephen Fogarty was born in Chambersburg, PA, not too far from here, has given the Wolfpack a 2 1 lead. Back after this on the Bears Radio Network. Defend the Den. This is the Hershey Bears Radio Network. 2-1 Hartford leading the Bears of the Penn State Hill scoreboard. Zach Fischel inside Dave Fenvins of the Giants hitter in Hershey. Thanks for joining us here tonight. 4-10 to go first period. Now the Bears looking to break out of their own zone with Garrett Pilon. Second year forward ahead to O'Brien who scoops it down the ice. For Janssen Fialbi wins the race to negate icing. He gets it back behind the goal to Pilon looking to work it free for Hershey. Backhands it to the near side half boards to Tyler Lewington. Fenton waits and shoots, blocked in front. Johnson Fialbi trying to swan to the net. Back to Lewington again, drives it on goal. The blocker save is made by Huska through traffic. And Hartford clears and Nieves after it. Into the Bears zone, attacking down the left wing. Takes it back behind the net. Played free the near side for Vinny Letary. Their top marksman back behind the cage for Keane. Offensive minded blue liner will jump in. Hartford cycling, throwing a shot over the head of Copley wide of the goal off the boards. McBride to the point. He scored yesterday. He's got it again. On the blue line for Keen. Waits does it shoot. O'Brien in the way. Bears defending it well. But Hartford with a puck throwing one to the net. They score on a deflection from Matt Molesky. A beautiful tip up over the glove of Phoenix. Copley tickles the twine top corner. And Hartford three in a row. They now have a three to one lead late in the first. Yeah, the Bears got stuck in their own zone, and, and, and really they, they started chasing the puck around too much. Uh, you got to stay with your own guy and, and cover him, and you can't just chase the puck wherever it goes. Hampton the perimeter, with, and from the right side, half boards, Keen sent it to the net. And the veteran, Matt Valeski, right in front of the goal, gets a big piece of it to redirect it up and over Phoenix Copley. Valeski has played 477 games and the National Hockey League won't be returning there, at least with the Rangers, but a good foot soldier for Hartford with a nice deflection up and in. Now the Wolfpack, three goals on nine shots on Phoenix Copley. Here's Groffin in the offensive zone, cut off by a good defensive play by Fervari, and the Bears will kick it free out to center. Maye with it down the right wing, needing a shot in the arm for Hershey, trying to leave it for Pino. Pass got blocked, and Maye behind the goal again, has it for the Bears. Centers down to Fervari, down low tip, just wide of the net, a chance for Molson. Right off of his stick, two good tries for Molson so far that just have not worked. He's got it again behind the cage, looking to center, looking for a response. Rolled towards Maye, that one knocked away from Juice. As the defenseman creeping in behind the net, Hartford will look to slow it down and clear it with Pino in the way. And Wolfpack on the right wing, hit the center red, and dump it in. Off the stanchion behind the Bears net, Copley will leave it, and Juice will take it with both teams changing. As Williams, Gersich, and Sutter hop over the boards. Bears down by two. And a disappointing first period here at the Giants Center after the positive start. At least results wise. And it's Sutter, cross ice feed, and out on the tape of his teammate, knocked away by Fogarty. And a turnovers for Hershey here in the latter half of this period. Valeski's 11 came from Keene and McBride, and that's why it's 3 1 Hartford on the Penn State Health scoreboard now. Loverdi in his own zone. Wolfpack with it, looking to skate out to center. Cross ice feed, knocked away from Fogarty. Good defensive play, Bergdorfer. Now to Colby Williams, juggling the puck on the right wing, rolls it on goal of Huska, who will cover it. Gets a snow shower from Gersich. Those never feel good. And a face off for the Bears in the offensive zone. And the closing 135 of the first. Real good start, but Mike for doing why, well, showing why. They're just such a strong team, even though they've lost three straight, facing a high octane offensive minded Utica team, they were able to break through, but it's a great cycle, wore Hershey down in the back of the net, it went on the latest one. There's face shot win here for Matt Weiss, sends it back behind the goal, Bergdorfer to Malenstein, 
Cutting free along the left side. Gets it back behind the net to Clark. Could not handle the pass, so Bergdorfer jumps in and leads to the near side point. White shovels across Nardella's shot deflected, knocked down on the glove of Huska. Nardella again to Bergdorfer, winds and fires. Stopped by Huska, spin out the rebound like a pass dispenser. Hit him near the mask and then dropped right back out to the slot. Well, it's deflected back down to the Bears' defensive zone where Nardella has it again. 105 left of the first. Bergdorfer sidesteps the stick check. Trying to get it to Weiss, could not dump it deep. Second attempt, Nardella twirls it in behind the goal where Huska will stop it. Malenstein, the goal scorer, is in. Knocks it loose behind the cage. Good play to Clark. Looks to center. Back to the point. To Nardella. Here's a shot to the net. That came from Alexia. Beg your party. And got blocked to deflect it wide. Hurts in behind the cage. Good pressure for the Bears here. See if they can take advantage. Mayan of the corner trying to tuck it to the net front. That did not work. Huska poked it away. And the Wolfpack a short pass to Nieves at his feet trying to handle it. He'll slowly guide it to the far side boards for the Terry who was hit. But able to clear the puck. Looked like it nearly went out of play there, but it's held in. And chipped back behind the Bears net with 20 seconds to go in the first period. Alexia to center. Maye chips it in. And Huska out to play it behind his own goal. Sends it across far side. Wolfpack play of the middle, but to no one. Lewington will take it instead with 10 seconds left of the center red line. Tosses it in back behind the Wolfpack net. But Hartford will take a lead to the locker room. A 3-1 score in favor of Hartford. They have the advantage as Molson then just gives a glove punch there. And Maya had shot back. A little bit of frustration from the Bears showing after this first period of play. This is the 12th time this year the Bears have trailed after the first period, their record in those games, 3-5-2-1. and one. A lot of positives early, some good zone time as well. They outshoot the Wolfpack technically. Not a few too many turnovers, Dave, and worn down in their own zone. And that cost them the first. Hanging banners for years. This is the Hershey Bears Radio Network. Well, down 3-1 to one going into the second period. Some work to be done for the Hershey Bears. We're underway in period two. Chocolate and white moving right to left on Caps Radio 24-7, AHL TV, and the Bears Radio Network. Zach Fish alongside Dave Fenders with you here, Jim Jones, to join us a little bit later in this evening's broadcast. Three goals in a row for the Wolfpack after the Bears started the scoring. That's Hershey playing from behind. They'll go to work left side, Garrett Pilon. Down low to O'Brien, back to Pilon. He scores! That's the way to start the period. 30 seconds in on an empty give and go. Garrett Pilon short side, and it's a 3-2 game. Exactly. You want to start off, I'm sure they were talking about in the locker room, you want to come out and you have, want to have a good start to the second period and just make sure you come out and you win the second period. So, I mean, there's a lot of period left, a lot of game left, so now you just got to build on that. Garrett Pilon will get his 10th goal of the season. That's the number he finished last year with, and he scores for the Bears in an early start to period two. Has this in a one-shot hockey game. Wolfpack moving left to right, will dump the puck in. Letary has it back behind the goal, gets it to Boo Nieves. He could not handle it as Brian Pinto is there to try to take it away. Look at back right point, Laverne waits, creeping in, shooting wide of Copley up the backboard, trying to throw it in front. Hartford could not do so. 3-2 now, the Penn State Health scoreboard looking for more is Phil Mayan. Down the right wing side on right cup. He'll wait and shoot. Who's gonna say trap the rebound for a moment? And Molson just a second tardy to get to the net as Huska reaches out and covers. You can tell the Bears with that shot in the arm they need to start period number two. Pilon from O'Brien, and Pilon, I was about to note right before, something had happened in a collision where his chin strap had come undone. So that helmet was dangling a little bit when he put the puck in the net. Of course, if you lose your helmet, you have to put it back on or go to the bench in the AHL. New rule that they Put in recently, made its way to other levels, and a safety issue, and gone to the days of the Craig McTavishes of the world, the <laughs> last guy to not wear a helmet in an NHL game. Yeah, I actually played with a few guys that didn't wear their helmets. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was different back then. And we also had goalies, and not pucks fired at them without mass as well. So, yeah. what well, a crazy time. Pilon from O'Brien, and it's a one-goal game. Now the Bears battling for the plank of the far side corner in their own zone. Sutter and Bergdorfer can't come out with it. Gerson tries to send it towards the net for Hartford. It goes wide, and Ardella will play it. Looking for Gersich, but instead around the perimeter to the far wing, where Williams throws a good hit. And it's a plank that comes free behind the goal to Bergdorfer, where Gerson draped all over him like white on rice. 
Williams with a nice job comes in to hit Jones. Bears just looking to move the puck out of the pile. And Ardella will scoop it up the board to Groff, who takes it back in his own zone. Someone's lost a helmet the process. It's knocked in, back behind the net, taken free. That was Williams. He has to go to the bench because of that rule. It's rolled loose to the near side for Damowski. Off into zone for Hartford. The center one in front. Radish is shot, got deflected away. Shutter will hoist it out to center where Gersich tried to swing at the puck. Well, the Wolfpack, they knocked it down. They played it with a high stick. And a face-off coming up in their defensive zone. Top of the hour, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 3-2 on the Bears Radio Network. Harrisburg's home for local, state, and national sports is WTKT Harrisburg and WTKT HD. Fox Sports 1460. Matt Weiss, Cody Clark, and Beck Malenstein out on the ice for Spencer Carberry's group. Trailing 3-2 on the Penn State Health scoreboard. Linesman fakes everybody out. Centers will be banked off. We'll try it again. And Weiss wins the draw to Clark. Back to the point. Lewington will shoot one. It's tipped by Clark. Wide of the goal. Tries to send it loose back behind the net. And does to Malenstock. With the pike for the chocolate. And wide out of the near side corner. Waits and holds. Trying to center it. Malenstein still with it. Left point Alexia. That pass handcuffed him in his feet. And off the mark. Little things like that. That kills the offensive zone time. Bears will look to get the details a little crisper. It's Alexiev looking to skate out of his own zone. Falls down, held in by Hartford. Back right point, Laverde's drive. That one got blocked. Ready for it there was Clark. Hit the stick of Weiss. And Hershey at the center red line. Going to chip it in behind the net. Head off for a wholesale line change. 3 to the score. Garrett Piedlock from Liam O'Brien. 30 seconds of the frame. Hands the Bears within one. Hartford brings it in over the blue line and offside. Called on the visitors. Draw back in neutral ice for the Tracklin. Why do continue their homestand this weekend as they will just come home for two quick games today and then tomorrow against Rochester. Five o'clock puck drop. Our lone visit from the Rochester Americans. Your old team, Dave. Yeah. Been a long time. Right, they're one constant, just like the Bears. Still in the AHL. Cornerstone franchises of this league. Turnover, Copley lost it, oh my goodness, it rolled on net, Copley had to get back, he handed off to his defender, who was pickpocketed, and thank goodness the Bears, it doesn't cost him. Taking it loose, back behind the goal again. After it is Hershey, they'll try to clear it, rolled on net, sticked out by Copley, steered his side to the corner, and Pilon with it, able to skate out of his own zone. Hits the pike free to center ice. On the left side to O'Brien, back to Pilon, and the net front has to take it to the corner, Punk rolled away, and it's O'Brien with it again. Trying to knock it free. Four-man scrum near side corner. Bears in the offensive zone looking to tie this game. Pilon centers, poke loose, and the Wolfpack in their own zone. Throw it forward where Belansky tips it at the red line to Pilon in his own zone. To O'Brien, and the red line again. That pass block gets it once more and drives it in with Hershey changing. Wyckoff gets the pass behind his own net. Turns it to the far side, Laverde. He turned it over to Molson. Centered it across to Pino and a drive up and over the net off the back glass. And it flanked it loose to the near side corner. Pino with it again. Good idea to go to the point, but Kropp in perfect position. Chipped it away, and now he gets ahead of Domowski. Towards the front of the goal for Kropp, but hit the side of the net instead. And shrunk away harmlessly by Copley and company. And Molson goes beneath the goal line. 15 20 to go, second period. The Bears pressing. They made it a 3 2 game, and here they come, two on one. Maya over the blue line, the right wing, shooting one. A glove save, who's going to rebound? Kicked out two. It's Maya with it again. He'll leave it back. Bears with pressure. He got the Wolf Pack on their heels. It's Pino to Maya, left corner behind the net. Molson in front to Maya. And a Pino shoots and a right pass save. Kicked out with authority. Great stop by Huska. Awesome, oh, real good looks. On well, stage three, two as Hartford will clear it. All the way back behind the Bears hand, Lewington will wait. 14.40 to go, second period. Stretches the ice to center, who deflects it in behind the Hartford goal. Kersich gets there first. He scored versus Hartford this year, December 1st. To the blue line, Lloyd to the slap pass that got blocked. But Hartford does not connect on their feet, and icing will be called with 14.26 to go in the second. And this one, Dave, nearly a tight game. Yeah, the Bears are doing really well in the offensive zone of, of creating turnovers and getting chances, but they just got to do a better job in their own zone. Uh, 
too many oppor you know too many opportunities are given up by bad passes and and their defensive coverage they're they're not in position a lot of times and it's leaving you know a good offensive team giving them chances. Draw on the far side of the ice, unable to be won by Riley Sutter. And Stephen Fogarty skates out of his own zone for the Wolf Pack. And the puck knocked into Sutter back in his own end, and he'll pick it up. Skates it back behind the goal. Sutter injured in the rookie tournament in Nashville. Got a little bit of a slow start this year, trying to find his way as a regular in the lineup. As Gersich will steal in over the blue line. Delayed Pentley call on Hartford. Puck back left point. Alexia with it. He'll walk it in, shooting, and a glove saved by Huska with Copley darting the bench. The Bears will get the game's first power play with six minutes gone in the second period. Four of the last five games, Hershey has only had one power play in those games in two of the three games against Hartford this year. So Hershey has not got many looks on the power play, but a hooking call here on the Wolfpack. And let's see what the Bears can do to try to tie this game on the man advantage. Yeah, it starts off in the Hartford zone, so that's good. You I mean, you can win the draw and get set up and, uh, and really get things going in the right direction right away. Top power play unit will hop over the boards. The Bears power play presented by Funks Restaurant. 19 for 133 on the season, 24th in the American League at 14.3%, while the Wolfpack's penalty kill is 10th in the league, 109 for 131. Matt Molson on the ice right now. He's the guy that will go to the net front. Bears with a face shot, but right to Stephen Fogarty, who's shorthanded, has it in the offensive zone, and it's knocked away. Fogarty has two shorthanded goals this year to lead the Wolfpack. Well, the Bears get it back, and they go to work offensively. Darnella down the right wing, cruises the punt back behind the goal, and Hershey with it. Darnella trying to go back to the point, knocked away from him, but he'll slow it down. Right side, Christian Jutes centers to Pilon and tipped away. Right in front of the Bears bench, that puck clears itself back now into Hershey's defensive zone where Nardella will carry it behind his own cage. 13-30 left of the second. It's a 3-2 game for Hartford. 125 on the power play for Hershey. In the box for the hook, his cracks up. Here comes Hershey, right wing side. A wrist shot gloved and held. Here at Pilon brought it over the blue line and let it go. And a stop by Huska, he'll hang on. With 13-17 left of the second, the top power play unit will stay out. Problem with that for Spencer Kyberry's group. This power play has been at its best. Well, of course, without Mike Scarbosi, who's a key component of it still. Not yet on the ice for the Bears, but out of the lineup for the chocolate and white once more after being injured a couple weeks ago. He said it was day to day, but we have not seen him yet. Hopefully sooner than later, he's expected to go to the All-Star game next weekend. Hershey with it now at center ice to Maya. He quickly converges upon, but Molson gets it back to Maya behind the net. Gertsen cuts off, and Hartford will clear past a diving Pilon and down to the Bears' defensive zone. It goes with 50 seconds left on the power play for the chocolate and white presented by Funks Restaurant. Pilon ahead of Juice, dashing in down the left wing side, trying to center a pass that got blocked. Hartford behind the own goal will turn the puck over the Bears' deal in center. Maya Rob with a great stop by Uska. Point blank range turned down. Bears with it again. Janssen Fialbi fresh on the ice of the point. Right side Nardella. Goal line Molson flips it across. Knocked back Janssen Fialbi and good stop by Huska again. Only reason this game is at 3 3. Juice at the left point, chopped past him. Nearly up and out of play and cleared down the ice. Back now to Nardella in his own zone. Some real good looks once again. The second power play unit out for the final 10 seconds. Janssen Fialbi with it. 12.05 left of the second period. He'll send it in behind the goal. Bears trail by one. Janssen Fialbi gets it to Clark. Left point, Fairbari. Back to full straight, but Hershey's still with it. Near circle, Clark's wrist shot wide of the net. Hits the boards and zips past everyone and down the ice. There's 0 for 1 of the power play. They cannot convert on the game's first penalty. That's Fairbari in his own zone, trying to escape the pressure. Lasted momentarily to Letary, who goes to the left point. On the blue line, Laverne's shot deflected on Copley. And the Bears' net binder will cover and hold. 11.37 left of the second. Hartford still holding on to a 3-2 lead despite a goal from Garrett Pilon. Back after this on the Bears Radio Network. 3-2, Hartford has the lead over Hershey with Dave Finvis. I'm Zach Fish. The Wolfpack on offense win the draw on the left to Phoenix Copley. Bears net binder out of North Pole, Alaska. Sees the puck wrapped free, the near side half boards. Hartford with it, penalty call coming up here on the Bears. Eric Bergdorf for the veteran D-man will sit. Had his stick parallel to the midsection of Ambaleski. 
And the fans don't like it, but the Bears will now be shorthanded. You missed that call, visit Bo K. Mulligan to Mayo. BMDI.com, the official Oakley eyewear providers of the Hershey Bears in each town and Cleona. Pretty obvious one, though, on Bird Dwyer, so he will sit, and the power play goes to work for Hartford. They're pretty much neck and neck with Hershey. 13.4%, 26 in the league. The Bears 24th, so right near each other. While Hershey's penalty kill, third in the league at 86.9%. Well, Pack did score two power play goals in this building on December 1st. Loverty with a pike cat, one of them. Off the draw win, he's got it once more for Hartford. Last circle, pass was fired for Letary. And behind the net it goes for Stephen Fogarty. Here, side wrap back to the point. Loverdi nearly had it poked away. Now the Bears will clear it. And down the ice, Malenstein after it. Huska out to play it. Spins it away from Malenstein, but Bank will steal it in the corner. Three Wolfpack players come back to help out. Huska not fantastic at handling that puck, as evidenced by a couple aggressive plays that have not gone his way tonight. O'Brien to the corner, buying some time for his penalty killers to change if they want. Gersich hops out there. It's finally O'Regan takes it, but O'Brien stole it away. Nice job by Liam. He'll flip it back to his own zone, kill the clock a little bit, gets it back from Lewington, and hoists it down the ice. Well done of the PK. Hartford has to reset in their own zone. Loverdi takes it back behind the goal and skates it free out to center. Two-time Calder Cup champion Loverdi with Toronto most recently. Gets it to the left wing to Fogarty, who sends it back behind the Hershey net. Prodded loose, Fairbari cuts off and off the boards and down the ice. Penalty kill looking exceptional. 50 seconds left of the Bird Joy for penalty, nearly halfway through this game, 10-15 to go. In period number two, 3-2 Heinford on the Penn State Health scoreboard. Well, pack in the center, red line, Letary, cross side speed, it's on the tape for Newell, but dropped it back off and no one home. And Letary has to get it back at center with Janssen Fialbi pressuring him. Axel stays with him stride for stride, lunges Letary out of the real estate, tips it back now to Joey Keene, and the defenseman attacks up the middle. Three brown sweaters around with the chocolate and white have it covered. But Keen pirouettes away to the goal line for Belaski. Starts at this side of the goal to Newell. Left wing, back up top to the point. Blink the power play, 10 seconds left on it. Keen with it for Hartford, pressured by Janssen Fialbi, but turns it behind the net. Belaski could not handle, but the left wing drop centers to Newell. Now takes it back behind the goal, throws it to the point off the body of Janssen Fialbi and clear to the Bears have killed it off. Nice job on the boat came, looking to mail penalty kill. Bergdorfer out. And we're back to full strength. Both teams 0 for 1 on the main advantage. Behind his own net, Fairbari with a pike for her. She clears up the boards. Nieves could not play. It would have been too many men on the ice. So Hayek in his own zone gets it across. Where it's chipped away. Good steal by Molson. Knocks it forward to Maya. Over the blue line on the left foot. Doubles back with the Bears changing. Throws it towards the net looking for Molson. And chipped away by Heinfrey. They'll break it down and clear it into the Bears zone. Hit the referee and then pop towards the net. Off the linesman rather. Copley had to dive back and play it. It was rolling towards the cage as he was headed to the corner. Nieves with it, the red line lost it to Maya. Here come the Bears over the blue line again. Near shot, Molson's in, waits and shoots. A shoulder saved by Huska. Off the right shoulder and the right arm. Is Matt Molson with a good opportunity. The Bears up to 20 shots. Well, Hartford just has 13. Juice in his own end with the Wolf Pack changing. He'll assess his options and wait. His teammates changing too. Juice takes it to center where Malenstein tips it in. White's attacking Huska, pushes it around the boards. That's a good clear by him to center where Bergdorfer cuts it off for the Bears in their own zone. Look to break it ahead. Pass from Malenstein got knocked down. It comes back to Nardella. Cross size feed now to Malenstein in the center red. He'll send it in. Back behind the goal to White. Picks the puck up. 24 points in 29 games with South Carolina. Gets to Clark. Fires a shot on that. Steer to side by Huska. Malenstein picks it up. Cross check down near side corner by Radish. Fans with a call there. Groaning for one, but the referee's arm stays down. And it's cleared down the ice. Back spun off the pressure. Got hit the numbers. Now it's taken by Bergdorfer behind his own goal. He had Malenstein open to the far blue line. Didn't see him. Instead, just going to wait behind the goal as Hershey completes the change. Two Gersich at center, chipped away from him. Bergdorfer and company will try it out of their own zone once more. Nardella's pass, he went backwards with it, tipped by O'Regan, but Bergdorfer there. Hershey clears to center again, and Gersich knocked it away. Here comes Hartford over the blue line offensively. Down the left wing with Danny O'Regan. The former San Jose prop to the blue line. Gertzen slap shot, broke his stick in half. Hold that thing just softly wide and Copley. Centered out to O'Regan again. Buried with a good hit by Bergdorf for open ice. And up by Hershey with it down the right side. Colby Williams. He'll wait and leave it. 
for Gershik. Tries to dangle towards the net. Knocked off the puck by Fogarty, but the Bears get it free and center. Knocks it loose, trailing 3-2 behind the net. Trying to center a pass that got blocked. Hits the side of the goal, and Fogarty trying to take it to safety and will. His Hartford will look to break free to neutral ice. Chipped in, back behind the Bears goal where Copley will stop. 6.30 to go, second period. Gersich looking to clear it. It's a 3-2 game. Garrett Pilon has cut the lead down to just one. On a goal 30 seconds into the frame. But nothing since then for Hershey. The puck cleared by Hartford and icing called with 6.21 to go in the second day. Yeah, since the penalty kill, I mean, not much going on. A lot of work along the boards. Neither team really able to, to get anything going. You know, the Bears just got to keep working at it. Uh, keep, they're doing a good job when they're in the offensive zone and poor checking and getting the puck and, and forcing turnovers. So they just got to get the puck in the zone and, and keep attacking. As you know, you can attend free kids club events at Harrisburg Ball on the second Saturday of each month. Visit shopharrisburgball.com to learn more about upcoming events. Find the Harrisburg Ball on Facebook and follow the Harrisburg Ball on Twitter. This season, shop for the Harrisburg Ball. Aaron Pilon tossed into the face. Josh, so actually, Johnson Fialmi will come in and take it. 50 50 punt battle goes to the visitors. And Huntsford, top team of the Atlantic, out to center, will flare it in. And Erkis Scott first year head coach for this Wolfpack team, doing a great job. As the Bears bring free to center, right? So Brian back to Pilon down the left wing. Knocked away from him. Hyatt got back and took that puck away. Good defensive play. And then Jones escaping ahead out of his own zone. Former collegiate teammate. At North Dakota with Shane Gersich is Nick Jones. On the left side, it's Letary spinning off the pressure. He's talented, played to their rival, Minnesota did Letary. He lot up the boards, trying to clear it on the back kicker. He's able to get that puck to center via Liam O'Brien in a battle right in front of the Hartford bench as the Wolfpack reserves will watch and wait for someone to dig it loose. Hansel does that. Janssen Fialbi gets it down the ice. Bears changing as the Wolfpack will dive it in. Backs behind their own net. And assessing his actions as Radish before he hits the center red and rims it around the board to the far side. Rop is after it for Hartford, but Juice, the Stanley Cup champion with Washington, knocked it away. Then he fell down. Demowski out of the corner board to the rookie Keane. With six goals in his first 11 games. Waits and holds. Now to the near side, Demowski spins and shoots wide of Copley. Sailed off the back boards, but Hartford now trying to wear the Bears down in the offensive zone. Hershey defending. It's Pino on the left wing. Staying right there with the Wolfpack. Gets it away from Jones for a moment, but he sends it in deep behind the goal where Grop is dummy to hit hard by Eric Bergdorfer. Knocked it right off the plank, but he's got it again. He'll center in front. Great save, Copley! A feed out from the corner to Jones. Copley sprawls across and robs him to keep it 3 2. My goodness. Yeah, was a real nice save there. The the big thing in, in front of the net, the defensemen have to do a better job of picking up those guys behind them. They can't let them get those shots from behind them. 4.42 to go in the second. The Bears lead 3-2. Trail 3-2, but only 3-2. Thanks for that great save on the Bears Radio Network. Think ahead and stop by Advanced Auto Park for Sylvania Silver Star Ultra Headlights. They offer the furthest downward visibility for safe driving so you don't get blindsided while you're on the highway. Must get $15 gift card by mail with purchase. Advanced Auto Parts. Think ahead. Think advance. Bears will clear the plank all the way down the length of the playing surface. Icing called. 4.35 to go in the second period with Dave Fenbiz. High sack fish. It's a 3-2 lead on the Penn State Health scoreboard for the Hartford Wolfpack. Garrett Pilon with a lone goal of this second period. He came 30 seconds into the frame. Here's defense looking to tighten up after a great save by Phoenix Copley. He's now stopped 11. Off the draw win. Gertzen shot a little roller on end. Copley will reach out and smother. No problem off his left pad. Then Puts his mitt right over top of it. And yeah, the Bears do a good job on the uh, initial rush and, and on checking and get, finding out their guys. But the longer they're in their zone, it seems like they, they start losing track of uh, who they should be covering. Garrett Pilon will be tossed from the face off circle again. This time, Liam O'Brien, who shoots left, will come in to take the draw. Lost the face off. One back to Joey Keane. Trying to spin off the pressure of Pilon. Leads to Gertz to the point. Primarily played out west in the American Hockey League. Coming east here. He's a physical specimen leading the Wolfpack in penalty minutes this year. A 71. Hartford will center to O'Regan. Shot on goal from the bottom of the right circle. Stick save Copley and no rebound. He'll reach out and cover it up. It's the Bears 
Turn it over right in front of their own net. Danny O'Regan with a good chance, and not the guy you want to leave open right there. O'Regan in his rookie season in 16-17 with San Jose, the Barracuda, 58 points. So a real good player at this level. Turned out by Copley, and the face shot still deep for the Bears' defensive zone. Weiss will come in to take the draw for the Chocolate White. He spent all last season with the Chicago Wolves. Taking them to the Calder Cup Finals. Eventually lost to the champion checkers. Here's a wraparound attempt by Newell off the face-off win for Hartford. Goes wide of the goal. Good hit on McBride by Weiss. Bears will look to come up with a puck. Sent to the nap front and chopped away. And out comes Clark. To Malenstein. He started the scoring. He'll chip it in. Back behind the net. Gail Overty collide. Bears knocked the puck free, but overskated by everyone. Weiss had jumped up into the play and cleared past him to center. Renardella takes it to zone zone and sends it across to Lewington. Feeds it for Malenstein at the center red line, driving wide to the left. Weiss knocked down a man with him. Stay on side somehow as Laverty tries to go over the middle. Hit the skate of the rookie Clark. Capital second rounder. And it poked away though and out to the blue line. McBride hit hard by Weiss. He and Malenstein were battling for the puck. And now Gersich has it fresh off the bench and center. Driving wide, left side. He's got some speed. Trying to take this shot. He got knocked off the puck, but gets it back in wings. Right wing now. Leaves it for Bergdorf. Creeping in, one goal on the season for the veteran. He'll send it to Gerson. He scores! A beautiful feed from Bergdorfer, and Gerson roofs it. This game is tied at three with 3:09 left in the second. Yeah, good patience by Bergdorfer there. He come in from the point, uh, came down around behind the net, uh, watching the whole time to see if anybody could get open, and then finally found the open man and uh, was able to get him the puck. Shane Gersich has his fifth goal of the season and just picked the top corner where Mama hides the Reese's peanut butter cookies. Up and over the glove of Adam Huska who is deep in his crease. And a nice primary assist for Eric Bergdorfer who got the puck from Gersich. Drew everyone to him. The Wolf Pack that caught puck watching. In the back of the net it goes. And the Bears see this game even at three apiece, trailing 3-1 entering the second. And a big goal to make this a tie game late in the second period. You never want to go into the third trailing. Chocolate and White will go for more. Pino tries to slap a shot to the net from the right side and knock free. On the near side, half forwards, and it's taken away from the Abbots. Hershey gets it back, throws it to the middle. Matt Meyer on the back end, centered it looking for Molson. Knocked away from him. And up ice comes Hartford. Now they're in transition. Letary knocked off the biscuit. Rolled back to Juice. Who throws it out of his own zone. Chipped by a high stick by Hartford. He'll touch it. The whistle will go with 2.24 to go in the second. We'll take a break. Tying goal from Shane Gersich from Eric Bergdorf for a beautiful feed. And we're even at three. Back after this on the Bears Radio Network. Tied up at three on the Bears Radio Network. 2.24 to go. Second period. Shane Gersich is even it. Bears off the draw. A shot lands on the top of the net from Janssen. Fialbi rolls off of it. Goes up and over the goal. Off the glove of Huska. Off the top of the net and out. Break for Hartford. They send a pass down the ice. O'Regan's got a break to the net. The backhander flipped down by Copley. Alexia just got enough of him to not take a penalty. And to end we go. Fairvari over the blue line. Right wing delays and waits. Not a good pass to the middle. Intercepted and stolen away. And here's Fogarty down the right wing side. His end to end rushes for each team. He's canceled out. Collision. Two players go down to the Bears. Fail to clear it. Held in right point, Laverne. He slapped past the middle. Pops up in the air, and Copley, look what I found. It rainbows right into his glove as he stands up and grabs it. The game opens up. Uh, the score stays 3 3. Yeah, both teams giving away really bad turnovers just inside their blue line, and it, and it just turns into end and end rushes. Just neither team can really uh, come in and make a good play. 144 left of the second. Bears fans, the Powerball lottery is up to an estimated immunity jackpot of 321 million. That's right, 321 million. So play today. Please play responsibly. Visit your local retailer for tickets. Must be 18 or older. It benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. Off the draw, the puck just scoots right back into the mitt. Of Phoenix Copley, and he will hang on the sixth season for Phoenix Copley and his fourth year for Hershey. Malden, two blockbuster deals in his pro career. Not bad for an unsigned, undrafted free agent then earned himself a deal. He was initially traded as Capitals picked up T.J. Oshie. He was sent to St. Louis, then sent back to Washington in the Kevin Shattenkirk deal, one that did not work out for Washington, but 
Can't blame Brian McClellan for going after the big defenseman at that point. He's now in Tampa Bay and having a pretty good season after being bought out by the Rangers. Clark out of his own zone with a puck for Hershey. Cross ice dish, right on the tape of Malenstein. Driving wide left wing. For Nardella, snaps a shot, now deflected wide. Nardella picking up an assist on that last goal. Loverde down after blocking that shot. Struggling into his feet. Puck hits him in the shin guard while he's trying to get back up. And the veteran is in serious pain right now. Has his right arm kind of downward, and you can tell he's in some discomfort on that right shot. Bears break out of their own zone with a minute to go in the period. Settled down by Clark, sends it to Maia, pass at his feet. He'll double back towards his own end to look for some help with his team trying to complete a change. Leads for Bobby Nardella. 3-3 the score here on the Bears radio network. The chocolate and white have equal eyes on the goal from Gersich. Looking for a late strike, it's Brian Pino. And over the blue line, gets the puck back. Knocks the goal line in front of Maia. Tipped it just wide, Molson saw him. That chemistry right there nearly resulted in a Hershey lead. Instead, it's cleared back down behind the Bears' net where Bergdorfer has it. Gersich is fifth from Bergdorfer and Nardella at 16-51. Has us even. Time for one last rush. Hershey with it now. Maya trying to send it across. It got blocked to the blue line. Trying to charge in. Bears pull back and juice in his own zone. Sends it to the right. Molson. Five seconds left. Leaves in the middle. Here's a chance. Got blocked. Comes back to Juice and rolled away from him. Has Pino's chance taken away in the slot. Quick little rush to try to end the period, but we... Are tied up at three. Hershey scores twice in the second. And no complaints about that frame, Dave. Well done by the Bears to fight their way back in this game. They outshoot the Wolfpack 12 to 7 in the second and capitalize early and late in the frame. Great stuff from assistant coach Scott Allen. Wrapping up our Toyota Intermission Report. Now we're set for the third period with Dave Benvis and Jack Fish. Well, not everybody that had tickets could make it here today because of the weather outside. If you're nestled up by the fire at home listening, let's hope the Bears bring it home and entertain us here in the third period. Hershey moving left to right with the game even at three. A backhander rolled in to Phoenix Copley. More fired in right to his glove. He will hang on. Nine seconds of the period. You heard Scott Allen say it, and it's easy to look at a box score and go, after the first period, oh, Copley's given up three goals on nine shots. Not a lot that he could do in that first period. That was a dynamite save before Gershon scored in the second. Yeah, it was a great save. And like you said, I mean, you got those tip shots and run the net. Uh, he's got to play the, uh, the initial shot and be in that direction. All of a sudden, his tip going the other way, you can't really react. Well, the Bears have rewarded his strong play by tying the game. Let's see what they can do defensively here. Puck bounced out to center out of the reach. Uh, everyone in a white sweater before Keen will go back to get it. Turn it over though. Here come the Bears. Pilon over the blue line. In the slot, waits and shoots just wide. Low on the blocker's side. Gets it back behind the goal to Hanson Fialbi. Axel the puck to the blue line. Lewington's drive on net. And a right pass save thrown towards the goal again from Alexiev. This time sticked out by Huska. A shooting gallery from Hershey to start. Period number three. Hartford a couple turnovers at their own blue line. Mentioned Scott Allen said the Bears have gotten away a bit from their defensive game, trying to get back to it. The Wolfpack, two, 15 goals given up in their last three coming into tonight. And three here through two frames. Puck batted back to center. Maia with it has to wait for Pinnell to get on side. He will and rolls it to Brian Pinnell, who bounces the puck back in behind the net. Poor Matt Molson up in the air, knocked loose and taken away from Pinnell. Out to center ice where Patrick Newell has it and brings it in. Newell and Brian Pinnell. Two guys that won a Clark Cup together in the USHL with the Indiana Ice. Pino's got it. He scored the winning goal. He's got it down the right wing shot. Leads for Maya. Cross side speed out of the reach of Molson. Back to Pino behind the net. And Hershey trying to knock it free along the near side half boards. Pino in the ice beating former Bears Zach Sanford out the St. Louis Blues in the Waterloo Blackhawks. He was at that game, and Pinnell scored with just minutes remaining in Waterloo, Iowa, in front of 3,500 people, and just absolutely silenced the raucous atmosphere. Turnover of the Bears' offensive zone. Clark lost it, gets back and takes it away. Two minutes gone here in the third. That's a fortunate recovery from Clark as the Bears tied it three. We'll clear it down the ice. After it is Weiss along the right wing side. Gets the puck for Hershey. Plays it back behind the net, out of the reach of Malenstein, but it's Gertzen trying to knock the puck loose. Out of the corner, Hartford coming out with it, looking to clear it. 
Up the boards, they can't quite get it out. The Bears will hold it in again. They set it, chance on the right way. Clark Waits can't pull the trigger, kind of out of his wheelhouse. Shovels it back to the point, Nardella. Behind the cage to Clank once more. Hartford cuts it off, but Valenstein steps in. Lays the boom with a big hit behind the net. Down goes Rykoff, he got tattooed. Oh, Beck the check with another bone jarring hit. Hartford now in the offensive zone behind the Bears' net. After the clear, 17-10, third period, tied at three. Well, back to the point. Sent across to Hayek, feeds it up in the air off his stick. And back behind the Hershey goal where Copley watching over his right shoulder, guiding that near side post. Full pack out of the corner, trying to come up with it. Harris doing a nice job around the perimeter. It goes again, and Hartford sends this one into Jones. Throws it out, but Demelski shoots one and got blocked. And deflected off Copley's glove wide of the goal as the Bears will clear it off a of Wolfpack sticking down the ice so there's no icing. Allows Hershey to change except Gersich. He and Williams out there now into the fourth check. Trying to knock the point free behind the goal. Pete line joins the frame behind the net. Trying to dig it loose from the skates of Keene. It will be popped free. Left side Alexia. Slap shot to the net. Got blocked and cleared all the way back to Copley in his own zone. The Bears netminder throws it across to Alexia but Hershey looks to start it quickly forward. Elon trying to knock it in, could not do so. And with 16-14 to go in the third period, this one batted behind the Bears' net for Lewington. In the defensive end, trying to get it going forward to O'Brien, skating out to center. Down the left wing side, Bulls his way through. Men joining him, O'Brien will wait. Sends it free back behind the net where Williams on the right wing. Knocks the puck loose to Tyler Lewington. Looking for O'Brien again, knocks him out of midair, looks to center. And look for Garrett Pilon, knocked away from him. And the Wolfpack will clear it down the ice to Alexia. Tries to start it right back quickly. Back and forth we go here in the third period at Giants Center. This is the fourth meeting between these two clubs. Each of the games have been one goal contents. Hartford has won two of the three. There's one and one here in the Giants Center against the Wolfpack. The puck fired up in the air and it hits the scoreboard. The center hung video board. Just took a punt right to the video screen. Does not appear to have done any damage. But because of that, the faceoff will stay in the Bears zone. Yeah, both teams really struggling trying to get the passing going here in the, in the third period. Uh, not really getting any good offensive chances going off the rush. Faceoff to the right of Phoenix Copley. And it's one here by the Wolfpack and sent back behind the net. Copley can't play the puck, but instead Fervori will. Looks to clear it out to center and just juggled away there from Phil Maia and sent past him behind the net where Copley will leave for Fervori again. Martin Fervori on the middle, good pass Maia. Bears started forward right side, Pino streaking in. Looks towards the net front, centers in on goal. stopped by Huska, the rebound, swung out by Maia and poked just wide of that. He got taken down and Pino comes up with a puck along the left wing. To the pipe. Point Fervari, wrist shot got blocked. And Molson after it along the left side to Fervari with it again. Back to Molson with some room. Center's deflected away at Pitto. And Juice both activating and streaking in on the slot and the right wing. Juice recollects it. Ahead to Maya. End of his ship will just bat it in behind the net where Huska will come out to play it. Plank into the point. Jack pokes it free. But Radish, a chance to clear it for Hartford right on the tape of Newell. Star in college at St. Cloud State. He lost it, and Clark gets it back, and here comes Hershey. Malenstein drags to the left, nearly drew himself offside, now gets it back and dumps it in. Off the stick of Huska, and Hershey again on the attack in the offensive side of things. But the Wolfpack take away, and here they come. The end of the Bears zone, wrist shot got blocked by Nardella, knocked the stick out of his hands, and Sacker Stiley had to boot it free. Can't get the stick, have enough end. The Wolfpack will center in a stick, saved by Copley. Meanwhile in front, Bergdorfer pops Fogarty with a glove punch. Two Fogarty with it behind the net. He'll wait and hold. He centers a pass to Rykoff, and that one got blocked. Good job done there. No stick for Malenstein. He gave his to Darnella. Wolfpack center, sticked out by Copley. So he knocked it aside to the corner. So no stick for Beck Malenstein. A love the fire shot. Hartford trying to isolate him. Wrist shot bouncing wide. The feed is Copley in the Bears' net. It's O'Regan. Wolfpack skating circles around Hershey right now with Malenstein with no swing. Throws a good hit though on the far side and he goes to the puck and tries to kick it out and they poke it to center. Oh, Malenstein on right top again. He got him good once more. He gets off, Bears change. Fans appreciate that. 13-17 to go in the third of the Bears with a puck out of their own zone. With fresh lengths, it's Garrett Pienlock. 
Sending it in, the attacking side of things for the Wolfpack takeaway with Booney Evans. Eric pass up the middle, Alexia close enough, so there's Joe Icing. Has to track it down behind the goal. Shoved off the puck, knocked to his knees. Needs some secondary support. And he backhands it loose to O'Brien, who bumps it to center. Lost his stick, kicks it free down the right side. Looks for some help and boots it soccer style behind the goal to Jansen Fialbi. Brian needs a new twig, his is back in neutral ice. O'Brien still kicking it free. A lot of soccer going on here. Reminds us the old Wildcats days. Here's Lewington walking in on the right wing, shoots one, it scores! It bounces in! Lewington from the right side, ricochets back into the net, and the Bears have a 4 to 3 lead. They're on their feet in Chocolate Town. Yeah, a lot of strange plays there. Uh, both teams losing sticks, and good play by Malenstein to give him his stick, and then ended up having to kick the puck all over the place, and then you know, O'Brien comes down, loses his stick, and has to kick it around, but uh, it ends up going to, uh, you know, going up front, and they're, they're able to get a shot on that, and it goes in. Tyler Lowington shoots it. It hit the body, I believe, of the defender. Yeah, it hit the defenseman Hayek in front and deflected past Huska. It's Lewington's first goal of the season, or maybe it didn't hit Hayek. It might have just hit the blocker of Huska and went in. Took kind of a weird hop into the goal, but the Bears will take it all the same. They have a 4-3 lead, their first lead since they were up 1-0. They've come all the way back from down 3-1. Tyler Lewington, who would have had him as the hero? He gets the goal right now that puts Hershey in front. There, sent it in offensively to Gersich behind the goal. How about Liam O'Brien out there right now just booting the puck around. Coming up, helping the Bears score. I'm thinking his stick's all the way back at center. He's going in on the fourth check, attacking after it. I get maybe trying to kick it across, but I'm just stuck wondering what's going on here because it's a little bit insane at times here today, but it works out just perfect there for the chocolate and white. Soccer style or not? In the back of the net, it goes from Tyler Lloyd to his first of the season. Ryan Pinto knocks the puck free over the blue line, but someone a bit too eager. Maya lost side. 11.32 to go in the third. Tyler Lloyd has put Hershey in front. 4-3 in favor of the Bears on the Bears Radio Network. Now, back to the voice of the Bears, Zach Fish on the Hershey Bears Radio Network. Tyler Lewins in from Garrett Pilon and Liam O'Brien in 727 has the Bears ahead by a score of 4 to 3 and that's the score they beat. These will pack on a December 1st. Bears in over the blue line, they flip to Brian Pinto, diving play, knocked it away. Gertson gets back and knocks it away. And it comes free out to center. Where Bobby Darnello rims it in behind the goal. Great round of applause for the crowd here at Giants Center of the Brain. The elements outside for a great effort. And how about Liam O'Brien? No stick, gets an assist. Here's a chance for Hartford, and they tie the game along the left wing. A rocket to the top corner from Krenzov. The ninth overall pick in 2018 with a snipe. And we're even at four. That was labeled to the top corner. Yeah, that was a pretty good shot. It didn't, it didn't seem like there was much going on, and he was coming along on the side, but a uh, real nice shot over the glove, and uh, not much you could do about that. Jelly uh, Kratsov gets the goal, the Russian native, the young gun who just turned 20 in December with the Rocket. He led KHL players under 20 last year in points, goals, and assists. Yeah, Top six scoring height, but you can tell why. Yeah, McCopley might have been screened there a little bit, too. It looked like you couldn't see around it. So we're even at four, and the wind kind of taken out of the sails here of the Giants center a bit after they were rocking. Lewington holds into the right point, taken by the Wolfpack back to center of Terry with the puck. Cutting down the right wing side, he'll leave it towards the net. Copley a save, left a little bit of a big rebound. But Pilon is there to clear to center. And back in his own zone, Joey Keane threw it to the middle. Lewington will step up and intercept, but knocked away. Kratzoff from Fogarty and Rykoff on the goal. So a two-point game for Yegor Rykoff and for Stephen Fogarty. Hope Pack with some strong performances here today. Puck at the right point, thrown wide to Phoenix Copley. Weiss is there, will try to kick it free, and he does. Good job. And Lewington looks to break free out to center. He'll scoot it forward. Where it's gloved back down by Loberti. But to see him back out there, he was favoring his right arm earlier in the game on a collision and a shot in the net front. 
Uh, his return to action for Hartford, who's even the game at four. On a Penn State Health scoreboard, it's Fairvari waiting behind his own net. Played with the goaltender Huska for the Slovakian World Junior Team. Puck deflected up and out of play on the clearing attempt from Alexiev. And with 9.37 to go in the third, we'll take a break. Back and forth we go. We're even at four on the Bears Radio Network. Capital Blue Cross is a proud sponsor of the Hershey Bears. Here for the fans, for the game, and all the moments that matter. For the name trusted for over 80 years in the card, accepted by top doctors and specialists. Capital Blue Cross behind you for whatever lies you have. Hartford 4, Hershey 4 with Dave Fenvis, Zach Fish with you here on the Bears Radio Network. Jim Jones along with us as well. Bears break free to center. Here's Maia down the right wing. Puts the puck on his hip, drives the net, has to take it back behind the goal. First year Bear has it knocked away. Champion of the U Sports ranks after years in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Took that route, so a little bit older, 27. Molson trying to bring it over the blue line, forgot the puck, has to pull back. And along the left side, Fairbari guns it in. Huska cannot stop, and the goaltender leaves it for Radish. Turned it over to Maia, now to Pino. Knocks back right point, Juice. Fakes the shot, now he takes it, blocked in front. Campbell made it to the goal, looking for something through a screen or a tip. Molson knocks the puck down. Hartford sees two bears over skated. And the Wolfpack will take it, just fired in behind the Hershey net. 40 to go in the third, and no surprise, it's a close one again. Juice kind of dangerously out front of his own net. Hartford takes it back with Juice in the corner. Another chance to vindicate himself and try to clear it. Gets to Pilon, who chips it down the ice. Where O'Brien trying to chase after it. Good defensive play by Hartford. They'll get the puck back and skate it in. Hayek down the right wing. Looks to throw it towards the net front. That one got blocked. Pops up in the air. Complio and landed on the top of that. Deflected away. This game is wild, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Second time the puck's landed on the top of the net. O'Brien now knocks down a Hartford skater. That's Grant with a cross check. Puck underneath him. They will blow the play dead. And coming in is Hayek, not happy with O'Brien. Gave him a little bit of whack to the numbers. And for the first time, the fans will roar with approval as we have a little bit of a conversation brewing. Uh, no penalty calls of the play. As Kropp and O'Brien now barking at each other. Looks to be Liam doing the primary amount of jockey. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification as we reach the top of the hour on the Bears Radio Network. Harrisburg's home for local, state, and national sports is WTKT Harrisburg and WTKT HD, Fox Sports 1460. 808 to go in the third period of action. It's a 4 4 game. Garrett Pilon with a goal and an assist for Hershey. If you're just joining us, the Bears were trailing 3 1. They tied it. In the second, took the lead, and then about a minute and a half later, Frankfurt even the score again. Floyton and Kraksov have scored here in the third. Bears dump the puck down the ice, and icing's called. Gersich and Sutter were after it, but not quite ahead of it. Announced attendance of 83-10. They are not all here, but a pretty good crowd, all things considered, for the snow. It's definitely not going to be near the top of the list. Officials chat here, they're going to take the face-off back to center. Kind of the nice thing Bears would be able to change if they so desired. Shutter, Williams, and Gersich out on the ice. And how about a goal for Colby Williams here? How about a goal for 25? He's been good at this forward position, jumping in the lineup. Puck back behind the net, Gersich had Williams in front. Could not find him, Gersich gets the puck back. Spins off the pressure on the right wing. With a goal in this game, he sends it down low behind the net. Williams picks it up for Hershey, throws it in front. He just missed Sutter, a great feed right underneath his stick. And cleared by Hartford, the puck gets the lines for back to the red line. Gersich throws a hit. Well, the Wolfpack with it will take it again. Valeski trying to bring it in, stolen away by the Bears. It's taken back by Maya. On the right side, looks to get the puck back. And knock loose as three Wolfpack players are there. Pino will take and drive in. On the near side for Molson, cut away from him. Lewington trying to keep it in. The pike took it out of hop, and Damowski instead will bring it forward offensively. But the Bears have it tracked, and Maya in his own zone goes to Molson. With the pike, Bears look to clear this one all the way down the ice and rolling, and icing will be called. 6.58 to go in the third into a 4 4 game here at the Giant Center in Hershey. And what other wild things are we going to see in this one, Dave? Yeah, I've seen some strange plays tonight, but, uh, you know, Buck's almost going in from behind the net and uh, bouncing around a lot. But so it'll be interesting to see what happens here in the next, uh, you know, seven minutes. 
Drama indeed at the Giant Center. No surprise with this club, which has played 24 one goal games. Nobody can match that in the AHL. Lowington off the face shot, gonna chop it down the ice, out of the reach of Pino and Loverdi. But Loverdi gets there first and cuts it behind his own goal. Played it up the boards, Molson tried to send it to the net front, fanned on it, and rolls back down to the Bears defensive zone where Lowington has it. In his fifth year at the organization, gets the bike to center and driven in by Alexiev, high off the back glass, and it will deflect up and out of play. For a whistle and a face off. Bears fans, it's time to grin and bear it. Brought to you by the Bears team dentist, Dr. Andrew Gold. Dr. Gold, the area's only certified dentist to make the Mar mouth guard. Worn by nearly all of our Bears, this mouth guard has proven to reduce concussions by up to 95%. Your son or daughter play a contact sport. Give Dr. Gold a call. The Bears trust him with protecting their brain, and so should you. Reach him at Andrew D. Gold, DMD.com, or at 717-774-7700. O'Brien, Janssen, Fialbi, and Pilon out there right now. And Pilon will steal the puck at center with a good play. Knocks it ahead to Liam O'Brien, trying to leave it back. And Juice will take it. Throws it towards the goal, glove down. And oh man, nearly another weird one off the glove of a defender on net. Pilon, baseball style, swing on him in air. Touched up by Hartford. It's an Ohio stick. We play on. This is going to be an ugly one to see a lead I think here here's a chance for Hartford broken up the defensive play by Pilot who's had a great game and here come the Bears Fervari down the right wing shot in the offensive zone sends it loose back behind the net they throw it in front Kurtzich got it high and wide taken free along the left wing Bears look to get the puck Kurtzich pushed into the corner and behind the cage once more after it is Matt Weiss Valenstein will step up for Hershey looks to throw it to the middle instead takes it back behind the goal and it's played free to Gersich again Left point then, Juice with it to the near side. Valenstein just out of his reach and sends it back behind the cage. 5.30 left, third period of action. Bears looking to knock it loose. Valenstein out of the corner and poked away from him where Fogarty had it lost it. Bears take it right back. Back with a puck to Gershich. To the blue line, Nornella trying to break a form for a tie here. Bears on offense. Wrist shot got blocked from the left side. Wolf Pack just want to clear it, O'Regan. We'll get it out to center, where Nardella tries to grab the puck. It comes back to Bergdorfer, and right back come the Bears with a little pink changing. Allenstein fans on the pass along the left wing. Puck comes free, and Hartford has it now. Looking to skate out of their own zone. At the red line, this one in. Ladle back behind the Bears' head, where Copley comes out to stop it with pressure from Newell. Up the glass to the blue line, held in Loverdi. On the right wing, they center a chance for Geninger. Blocked by Maye wide of the goal. That was Malenstein, rather, that got in the way and blocked it. What a play by Beck. It's Maya that clears it. Here comes Bergdorfer. Over the blue line, the Bears are offside. 4.36 to go in the third. We'll take a break and be back after this. So the Bears Radio Network. Welcome back to the Bears Radio Network. Zach Fish, the voice of the Bears, with you here. That's the chocolate and white finding themselves in a 4-4 game. There's a puck rolling in on Phoenix Copley and knocked away along the left wing side where the chocolate and white looking to break this deadlock and come up with the victory. Now the right wing side, it's Pino back behind the goal. Molson comes in with a check, bears with a puck, looking to throw it on goal. That one got blocked. Back to the blue line, pass intended for Lewington, intercepted, dangerous play there from Pino, but gets back, strong defensive play. It's dumped in behind the Bears' goal. Lewington with it behind his own cage. 4-4 scored, 3.55 to go, third period. It's Pilon with it, looking to escape out of his own zone. Trying to sidestep a check. Letary took it away to Grop. In comes Hartford into the offensive zone. Back up top left point. Hayek with the Black Wolf Pack on offense here as the Bears will keep them to the perimeter. Chats are 30-22 in favor of the chocolate and white. Letary. Behind the goal. Sidestep to hit. Still with it. Left point Hayek fanning on a shot. And sent down for the Rangers, and he gets the puck to O'Regan, who spins it to Letary behind the goal. Wolf pack with it on the far side. Nieves, top line out right now to Joey Keane. And at the blue line, the puck came out. And that's a break for the Bears. Keane stick handled his way offside. Yeah, Harper's top line was doing really well, moving the puck around, and uh, it, was, it worked out pretty good that it, he took it offside. Yeah, that was swift. Puck movement from the Wolf Pack there. And the Bears fortunate the face off will come to center. They will get fresh legs out of Allenstein, Weiss, and Gersich. 
Overtime looming here, but we've seen some late game heroics from Hartford in this building back on January 8th for the final minute. Letary beat Vitek Vanacek to give his team the victory. The Bears had some late game heroics against Bridgeport. The man with the punch, Shane Gersich, was the hero in the last minute at home. He sends it in along the near side. The Wolfpack chip it up and out of play, but it was deflected. So no minor penalty with 3.02 to go in the third. If you're just joining us, we're even at four apiece. Valenstein opened the score, and then Hartford had three straight. Reinkoff, Fogarty, and Molenski in the first. Garrett Pilon scored 30 seconds into the second. Gerstisch tied it late in the period. Lewington gave Hershey a 4-3 lead before Kratzoff even the score at 9.03. They shot to the right of Huska. And Matt Weiss to take the draw. Just called up from South Carolina. You heard some strong comments about his play, about the organization, and the way that South Carolina has been stockpiled. And Weiss a big part of their success. Wolfpack, though, will drive into the Hershey zone. Bouncing back wide to Copley. Off the skate of Weiss, and he'll take it back behind the goal. Right for the Chicago Wolves last year, went all the way to the finals. Gets the puck free, the right wing side. Gersich sends it in behind the net, and the Bears go to work offensively. Played past them and cracks off, trying to clear the first rounder up the boards, but Juice stays with him, trying for stride. Hartford gets the puck back to a 2.30, remaining in regulation time. He'll clear it out to center. Backhanded in behind the net of Copley. The Bears' netminder will come out to stop it. Lost it, turned it over. Oh, and an empty net missed. It hit Copley in the mask. You gotta be kidding me. Nick Jones just got a gift. An empty net on a turnover. Had to just put it in. He missed everything. It hit Copley trying to get back in the mask and went out of play. This game has had it all. Yeah, Copley came out. He he was looking to play on his forehand and, and realized there was nothing there, so he played his backhand, but it went right to the Hartford player, and by the time he got back in front of the net, it was a good thing the guy shot over the net. I don't know how he missed that one. That was everybody in the building could see, and there was almost a groan. Copley and Juice, a failed handoff, and in the net it went, or at least it should have. Instead, it went off of Copley's mask and out of play. He was stunned. He didn't know the handoff hadn't failed. He was just kind of thinking his time to get back. And then the punt hit him in the head and went out of play. So we stay 4-4. Bergdorfer with it over the blue line. Brings it in. Now the right wing side. Drives it wide of the goal. Nice patience again. Back up top to Lewington. And the left point. Trying to shoot when it got knocked down low. Now the Bears have them on the ropes. Mulse in the blue line. Bergdorfer had a tough pass to handle. Trying to throw it in front. Brock knocked it down, and Hartford will get it and clear it into the attacking end with 1.30 to go in regulation time. Even at four apiece on the Penn State L scoreboard. Overtime would be next if we don't have any hero quickly. Both back now back in their own zone. Hartford with it to center. Stepping up is Bergdorfer. This one brought back in, and Hershey going to get it. Out to neutralize where it's driven back behind the Bears' goal, and P-line will collect. Looking to clear it up the boards. Does get it out to center to Liam O'Brien. One hands it forward. Two helpers in this game for O'Brien. A strong performance, including a soccer style boot on an assist with no stick. One minute to go in regulation here. Punt pin loose in the Bears to end the things. Back behind the goal, up top right point. Here's a shot in the flank in front of Copley. It came from Jones and tipped. Never made it to the goal as Gersich will clear it. Out to neutralize. Gets the punt to Fairbari. Tripped over his own feet. And lost control, but has to fall back. His Ranish in his own zone for the Wolfpack will calm it down behind the net to Keen. 34 seconds to play here on the clock in the third period, even at four. Hartford's in, taken away from Fogarty. It's two points in this one. Trying to split the defenders would not work. And chipped off of a stick to Fairbari behind his own net. With it for the Bears up the left wing. 15 seconds left, bumped down the zone to neutralize. Pino with it, looking for a buzzer beater. Over the blue line, Johnson Fialli. Leads for Lewington in the slot, knocked away from him. Eight seconds to the point, Nardella. Spin move to the right wing. Backhands it in front, tip for Gersey, just wide of the goal. Two seconds left, Johnson Fialli out of the corner, but the clock will run out of time, and we are going to overtime. We will take a one-minute break. One-minute break, and overtime is next. Tied at four in a thriller at Giant Center on the Bears Radio Network. Who's going to be the hero, Dave? Who do you think on the Bears' side? Oh, I have no idea. I'm going to go with Brian Pino. He's played such great hockey of late. He's out there to start overtime with Phil Maia and Christian Juice. Fogarty, Letary, and Keen starting for the Wolfpack. Copley in goal to the right, Huska in goal to the left. Overtime underway, next goal wins, shunning death. 
drama at Giant Center as always. Here on a snowy day in Central PA, the Bears looking to come out winners. Juice takes the puck out of his own zone with it. Sends it in back behind the net of Hartford. Push loose behind the goal. The Bears look to center it, and it got knocked away as Juice will wait. On the near side, gets the puck back up top to Maya at the point to Brian Pinna with it. Juice once more will walk it in and wait. He shoots one of the net. It got knocked down and cleared away. Hartford will send it out to center. Bears scrambling for a change. Hands on the wolf pack. He lot up over the boards. He's had a great game with a goal and an assist tonight. And Janssen Fialbi gets out of the way of Juice, who is heading to the bench. He's got the puck over the blue line. Hansel Janssen Fialbi, he'll drop it off to Tyler Lewington, who's played a great game tonight. Spins off the pressure on the left wing side. Leads Janssen Fialbi. Walks in across to the right to Lewington. He scores! Overtime winner for Tyler Lewington. A two goal game, and the Bears win 5 to 4. How sweet is that? A great give and go play. He came up top and gave it down low and worked his way around the, the defense and got open on the far side and got the puck back and had a good shot. Tyler Lewington of all people. No goals this year coming into this game. The defensive defenseman wins it on a beautiful feed from the right side. Oh, you gotta love it. And they're on their feet again here in Chocolate Town. Lewington, the hero, and the Bears fans go nuts. They win in overtime again. Our Fairview Golf Course post-game show is next on the Bears Radio Network.